Good evening, YouTube. Home Theater Joe here, and I'm happy to bring to you part two of my LG C10 calibration series. This is more or less going to be a guide, a quick tips and uh, tricks to help you get through the process uh, a little bit faster. Um, when you first get this software, it can be a little daunting, and if you don't do everything or perform all the actions in the precise order, you can have problems. Uh, so you have to be very diligent about it. Um, now, let's get right into it. I've already done SDR Filmmaker mode here for this calibration, and I would recommend always starting in SDR, either SDR Cinema or SDR Filmmaker mode. Um, cinema is probably the best one to start with. Also, Color Temperature Warm 2. Uh, Color Temperature Warm 2 is what Dolby Vision and HDR both uh, want to be done in as well. Having said that, when we start, for the most part, we want to follow the directions and the prompts on screen pretty much as given. Um, they are a fairly good guide. So we want to stick with those. Again, just a couple of tips to help you get through. So we're going to start on the screen. Keep in mind, if you're starting, these are not going to be connected. These are not going to be green. Okay. Now, this is also a good time to say, no matter what you're doing, no matter if you've already done a calibration and you want to do a new one, or you're just firing up for the first time, you're going to see the screen, right? Okay, no matter what, you go over here, you go down to workflow, uh, workflow template, display specific, and hit LG again. You hit this again, and make sure you see it all loading up. All right, very important. Do that every time. So, now we got SDR, OLED, we're good because we're doing filmmaker mode. We go over here, we're gonna, our meter is already found because it was plugged up before I ran the program and the program automatically found it, but we just wanna make sure it's raw XYZ. Now, we go down here to find source. This is kind of important. I've been running this software for months on a 10% or a 15% window. When you find your source and get it all dialed in, I would recommend 5% window. Also, when you come down here, it's going to give you um, some things like, I already corrected this, but since I went back to it, it has gone back to BT1886. That's not what I calibrated in. So when you go here, you want to make sure, like when you're in SDR especially, your Rec 709 and power 2.2. You always want that, okay? D65, power 2.2. In this case... Rec 709, because we're in our standard uh, color, uh, uh, our, our standard color space. So, um, also this little button here, this little window is going to pop open. If you were doing HDR, it's imperative that you move this to HDR. Okay, but we're doing SDR, so I'm going to leave it SDR 709. All right, let's go to our next one. Now, here's a little tip for you. <clears throat> you can do this really before you get started. You go into this menu, pull it up. It's going to be set on gradient grayscale. If you just switch it right over here to sharpness, you'll get this up on your display. Little little crosshair for you there, and you can uh, directly center your meter to the screen. I'm actually going to move this back to black for right now because we are going to spend a few minutes talking about this um so these are my pre-calibration measurements as you can see we were at a max of 5.1 on the gray scale and the average was 2.3 in the color uh, area we're max of five average of three now in sdr we can run this and it'll give us you know a good idea honestly i don't even waste time running this anymore i just go um, but if I was to run this and we'll get more into this later, we're going to go right over your application measurement. Listen, you need to make sure that this X is not there. Okay. You don't want to run a pattern, a pattern patch every time you run a measurement. We'll get, we'll get to that here in just a minute. 
Honestly, though, if you're calibrating for the first time, this is good to have just to know as a reference where you were. But as you get more familiar with this stuff, it just takes up more time. So I typically don't do it anymore. You're going to find your TV. Um, at this point, uh, over here is not green. This is green because you connected to your source. This will turn green when you connect to it and select, in my case, HDR filmmaker mode. Now, there's some talk about this, some different ways to do it. I'm going to tell you to hit the full DDC reset. Again, we need to do these things as they tell us to in order. So if this is my second calibration in a row or even my third, I have to keep reconnecting these sources because it's part of the pipeline. It's part of the process. If we skip these steps and just leave these connected, it could cost you. You could lose the calibration. And sometimes you'll be sitting in front of the screen for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, all to lose the calibration. Okay, so my recommendation, do what the program is asking you to do. Um, so, and, and try to stick to the best order. So again, you're going to hit full DDC reset. Uh, in my case, again, we're over here in SDR Filmmaker mode, and we're at 26 points SDR, 16 through 255. Okay, so all that checks out. That's good. Now we're going to go over here. This is where we get, okay, we got to make sure that X is, is enabled if we're going to do the calibration, but I'm not. I've already done it, so I'm not going to hit that. But you want to make sure that's enabled, which it will be once you hit that free... Uh, full DDC reset. Now, this is something to be talked about too, uh, especially in game mode, man. If we're in SDR, we really got to, we really got to discuss this here. So your, your TV will be set in an OLED light of say 80 and it'll read, I don't know, 230, uh, um, uh, you know, on, on your peak luminance. <clears throat> Everything is mastered at, a, at 100 kind of less squared, okay? So that's reference TV broadcast. Um, so your video games, your TV, movies, all of that stuff, um, that's made at 100 nits, okay? So to go way high and to leave your your oled light at 80 so you're pushing like 230 um nits candela per squared you know whatever i'm trying to say you're gonna blow out the image even even with calibration now 100 to me can be a little dim so i chose to go just a little hot at 114 and i would suggest that as well when you're in HDR, it doesn't matter. You want the highest peak brightness you can get. But in SDR, you do not. In SDR, I don't think you want to be, you know, or, you know, you don't want to be blown out because the stuff is just not, it's just not mastered, okay, at 232 nits or whatever. So you always want to be down at 100, honestly. But I like it a little hot, so I went 114. Just a, just a quick tip for you. All right, let's move over to the next next part. Grayscale calibration. Now, I like to put these target lines up, up here. This yellow line represents Delta Era 3. Now, that's when these errors become perceptible to the human eye. This green line, if you can see it, that's, that represents Delta Era 1. Now, all of these marks, these little teeny guys, they're under 1 after the grayscale calibration which gives us this nice little line right here. But to get that, we've got to be sure of a couple things. All right? We always want to make sure that what we have here matches what we did in the beginning. So we're 70922. We're good. We want that. Nothing else really needs to be done here. Next, we want to go to application measurement options. Now, these are, are pretty important. Now, this starts at like 5 and 5, but I changed it to 45 and 5. 
all right, left the pattern level at 25. Here's what's important. We need to get rid of this X. Do not enable this. It will make you sit in front of your computer for hours on end. There is no need to do it. I have calibrated my display for countless hours. Actually, it'd probably be around 70 or 80 hours. But um, listen, I've never had an issue. So you don't need to run this pattern. That Listen, <laughs> don't listen to me, actually. I'm just a guy talking to my cell phone. But I have not had any issues not, not enabling this pattern. Okay, so that's just me. Also, D-E-I-T-P. That's what we want here. And Delta Air 2000 below. Okay, so we want to make sure that those are there. Once we, once we have those, we can just go right into the calibration. Okay, let's go next here. Then you're going to make your LUT. It's important when you're on SDR to always choose Lightning LUT. Okay, you can do the other ones, but if you want to talk about diminishing returns, it's no. There's no reason to do any of the other ones. But there's one, and I'll get to that. But in SDR, always stick with, um, oh shoot, what am I saying? Always stick with the Lightning LUT. As well, you'll have an option when doing HDR to do 20 points HDR or 42 points. Listen, there's, there's no real difference. Stick with the 20 point HDR. Um, stick with the Lightning LUT because the others are just diminishing returns. But make sure you're at Lightning LUT when in SDR. All right, let's go over here to the next one. Now, when I checked my luminance, my peak luminance, it actually measured in at 117. All right, but check this line out right here. This nice, beautiful line right here. Um, so, so you know your luminance is, is on check with the, e, what do they call this? The, uh, what is it called? Hang on here. The EQTF curve, all right? I think that's what that is. Anyway, there's actually two lines here. And if you screw it up, you're going to see a gray line behind there. If it's not following that yellow line, then you don't have a good calibration. So I actually set it as you saw on the screen. I went 114. It came in at like 117. No problem there, though like to keep it like that. By the way, when we do that, all it means is our OLED light's gonna be down at like 30. And if you're playing during the daytime and, and it's hard to see, kick it back up to 80. Once you display the calibration, the values in your user number you can change. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's not like it's gonna blow them out or kill them too much. So um, keep that in mind. That's why you wanna keep that, that um, peak luminance down in SDR mode. Now here we go. This is our this is our post calibration. As you can see, we went to a max error of one three, and and uh, point eight for our grayscale. A max error of two four, an average of one three. So we did pretty well here uh, for the, just this quick calibration. Um, no real tips there for that. But here you go. Here is the before and after. Obviously. Um, anyway, I think um, hopefully some of those things will help you uh, to to speed up the process and to get you um, a really uh, desirable calibration. And um, yeah, there's actually going to be plenty more to come. I only I thought this series would only take two or three parts. But I realized after today, it's going to take much more than that. So we're going to have to get into the HDR. We're going to have to get into the Dolby Vision. And, of course, the game modes. You know, they're all, it's all, uh, yeah, it's all a different ball of wax. So we'll see how many I actually get out there. But, um, again, just uh, tips and tricks to help you get through it. If there are any questions or comments, um, I'll try to. Try to get to them in the comments section. Um, but yeah, that's that's my experience. That's how I use the program. It's been very good to me. Been running this stuff for, for um, since the beginning of the year. So been about six, seven months now and uh, really enjoyed it and had great results. Uh, the display has never looked better. So 
I will wrap this up now because it's been going a little long. As always, thank you for listening. Be good. Be safe. Boom.